What's going on, everybody? It's your boy C4 here, bringing you the post-game grades. Even though I'm cheating a little bit because I want to record it, so it's not a super impulse decision. Uh, it's currently 23 to 23. Eagles are getting the ball back with a minute 23 left, I think, or a minute, almost just over a minute. Um, so I'm saying this, you know, win or lose. Thank you, Dallas. So far in this game, you have proved that we need to get wide receiver help. Win or lose, you expose the fact that we can watch you guys throw it to Des Bryant, throw it up, you can throw it downfield, make all these plays. We simply cannot do that. And with the trade deadline coming up, this is lighting a fire under Howie Roseman's ass if it wasn't already apparent that we needed to make a move for a wide receiver, be it a realistic one like getting Torrey Smith or the big fucking fantasy trade of getting Alshon Jaffe. Thank you very much for making it ever apparent that if we want to be convincingly better than the Dallas Cowboys. This is a phenomenal game. Let me start that out. All the primetime prime time games this year have been absolutely shit. So credit to the Cowboys. I think Wentz looked like the better quarterback. But uh, great game. Win or lose a draw. My my tune might cho uh, might change a little bit uh, in a couple minutes. I'm going to take a break. Watch it. Carson Wentz, minute 13 on the 25. Let's see what happens. But thank you for at least exposing the fact that we need wide receivers to be the best team in the NFC East. We'll check back in a little minute. Let's see what's going to go. Come on, Wentz, baby. Wentz to God. And we're going to fucking overtime, baby. 23 to 23. Um, man, this game's real, real tough going into this, man. Momentum, I would. it's split. I mean, it sucks that the Eagles had a punt on the last drive, but in the same regards, you gave Dallas 38 seconds to go down the field, and you had a debatable fucking fumble, and then sack him on the next play. Man, this is going to be 1L of an overtime period. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Can't wait for the grades. I'm going to be ripping a new asshole into some people. Motherfucker, man. Philly dropped it 29-23. to Philly didn't even get a fucking chance in overtime. Gut check time. Fucking safeties collided with each other, leaving uh, Jason Witten wide open in the end zone. But that was a great fucking game. Um, neither one of these teams look that much better than the other one. It's really going to be, you know, fucking... Look, my phone's blown the fuck up. Um, you know, at least in this game... I gotta shut this fucking TV off. At least in this game, you saw that the Eagles and the Cowboys are going to be the cream of the crop in the NFC. So even though we dropped to Washington, let's be honest, the Redskins... They, they picked apart a, a fucking six-round right tackle in his first start. Um, but the Eagles and the Cowboys give the cream of the crop in this division. Um, I'd say be better quarterback, considering what he had to work with, was Carson Wentz. But, uh, I mean, like I said, how at the very beginning of this video, before win or loss, obviously I'm fucking pissed off right now, and I will jump into the grades. Thank you, Dallas, for exposing what is wrong with Philadelphia. I don't know if we, if we win this game that... You know, the front office really pushes to get a wide receiver. You watch that game, and you see what's the difference maker right now on this field. We have the better quarterback. We have, debatably, the best quarterback in the division going forward. I think, like I said, you watch that game, you see the throws, and Carson Wentz is the better quarterback between him and Dak Prescott. You go, oh, girl, you got to get the fucking cowboy homers talking about Dak Prescott's stats. So, not only does Dak Prescott have the better offensive line, not only does he have a much better running back that struggled, he, Darren Sproles looked better than Zeke, uh, even though Zeke did have, you know, 10 times his, uh, fucking double, double or triple the amount of carries and touches that Sproles had. Um, but I mean, the, the wide receivers, pure, pure and simple. You can't have a single debate about this game referencing my point that Dallas has better playmakers. Terrence Williams, the third wide receiver on Dallas, would be the best wide receiver on the Philadelphia Eagles. Cole Beasley, a guy that could be debatably considered the third wide receiver on Dallas, if you don't have Terrence Williams there, would be the best wide receiver on the Philadelphia Eagles. They had Des Bryant back, uh, Jason Witten, I'd say, you know, with how bad Zach Hurts has played this year, Jason Witten's better than, literally, there's not one strength that Philadelphia has on offense, aside from the quarterback position, than Dallas. But... There's still time. All the rumors trading for a wide receiver. This is it. If I'm watching this game and I say I look at it and you say, what was the defining moment in this game? Our wide receivers could make plays. Their wide receivers made plays when it count. We had no one that could make plays. There's no one that Carson Wentz could call on to make a play on the outside in this game. You have Dallas. They're down. They throw a big pass to Cole Beasley. Convert. Dallas. They're down. They throw a big pass, touchdown pass or whatever, um, to Des Bryant. Philly, we're down. What do we do? We have to throw it like three yards behind the line of scrimmage 
to Jordan Matthews. We have to throw some sort of gimmicky screen pass to one of our running backs because we do not have the playmakers. So this is the gut check. When you watch this, you say, well, maybe if we had a Torrey Smith to, start, uh, to really uh, stretch the field, maybe some of these guys could make plays underneath. Maybe if we fucking balled up, somehow miraculously got Alshon Jeffrey, maybe we would, that would be the thing that would separate us because from the Dallas Cowboys. Because right now, you cannot say that the Dallas Cowboys are a better team than the Eagles, and I can't say that the Eagles are a better team than the Dallas Cowboys. This is going to be an absolute battle to the end of the season where we meet up again in Week 17 to find out who the best team is. Because on it, this is going to be uh, the, the rivalry this season between Eagles and Dallas is going to be who has whose number on any given night because right now it's very, very close. But I think from a talent standpoint, Eagles have the much better defense. I'd say special teams are about even. Eagles, I'd say Eagles have the better returner. Uh, Dan Bailey's the better kicker. An offense, though, it's not even close. Dallas has an it's way better offense than the Philadelphia Eagles, and it showed in this game, man. We have no playmakers to make a play. So I will – I'm not going to really – like I said, this is not one of those things where, like, if anyone in the comment section starts trolling, oh, man, Eagles suck, you didn't watch that fucking game. That game was very, very good, and I'll take my hat off. Dallas played very good football. Eagles played very good football. Like I said, it went to fucking overtime. Dallas just had our number tonight. And I think week 17, when they're back back at the link, uh, we're going to be looking for a little bit of revenge. So, uh, looking at the grades, how we're going to grade it in this fucking, oh my god, 29 to 23 loss. Luckily, we got the Giants next week, which would be a phenomenal bounce back game. Um, Carson Wentz. Uh, 34 of 42, 202 yards, one passing touchdown. He got sacked three times. A lot of his passes were check downs because, again, goes back to the point, we have no one that we can go to to make plays. So I give Wentz C+. Uh, I think his best play of the game was when he didn't when he didn't fumble the ball. Skandrick came from behind. And that, like, how wasn't that a fumble? So that's kudos to him. Um, yeah, I think I think the defining play in this is when you when uh, Dak Prescott threw that interception in the end zone to Jordan Hicks. I think that's the defining play. You see, like you know, was is that good enough? He managed that game, whereas Carson Wentz was literally the only lifeblood on our offense with Darren Sproles today. Um, running backs, Darren. Spr- I'm going to give Darren Sproles an A. He was literally the only guy that got shit going. 15 rushing attempts, 86 yards. Ryan Matthews had four rushing attempts for 10 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Wendell Smallwood had one carry for minus three yards and a fumble. I mean, that is fucking bull. That's some Jeff Fisher 7-9 bullshit right there. You can't have that happen. Why take Darren Sproles out of the game? It was free, like the defense was on the field for a bit. He was definitely rested. They just wanted to try something. You overthink it, Doug Peterson. Uh, wide receivers, C. Jordan Matthews, 11 receptions, 65 yards, one touchdown. I mean, the touchdown was good. Great pass. But most of his catches were just fucking dink and dunks. Not, uh, DGB, five uh, receptions, 55 yards. I'm liking what I'm seeing out of him. He had one bad drop, but he also had a couple good plays. Outside of that, Aguilar, Bricks, Ertz didn't do much. Sproles didn't do much. Uh, so I can't give my wide receivers much more than a C. Uh, Sturge was great. Three for three on field goals uh, with a long of 55. I'll give special teams in this game. Uh, I'll give them a B plus. Our special teams was very good. On the defensive side of the ball... It's tough to grade them because they could not get off the field in overtime. We didn't even have a fucking chance, which was brutal. And we, we, got, we called the goddamn coin toss. But, I mean, the defense played very, very good. They Even though Zeke had, like I said, man, it's going to be tough to hold any running back behind that offensive line when they get 20-plus carries under 100 yards. They held Zeke Elliott under 100 yards, like I called. Uh, and that was without Benny Logan. That was out our best player against the run. Uh, I'm going to give our, D plus, our defense overall a B. Uh, Bradham had uh, 10 tackles, a forced fumble. Malcolm Jenkins had 10 tackles. Ryan McLeod, 6 tackles. Jordan Hicks had that interception. Uh, Malcolm Smith and Connor Barwin both had sacks. I think that was another thing. Credit to Dak Prescott. We were bringing a lot of pressure, and he, we just could not get the final product of a sack, which was I think that was a big moment in the game. But you saw, man, Dak Prescott under pressure. I Like I said, man, I'm very, very excited for that Week 17 matchup. Uh, all in all, I'd give the Eagles in this game. Uh, a B minus. Uh, wasn't the best game that they had. Wasn't a bad game. It was. It was somewhere in the middle. Uh, I wish we would have saw a little better play calling. Too much dink and dunk from Carson Wentz. I think you should have attacked the Cowboys corners. Their corners aren't very good. Uh, then again, our wide receivers aren't very good. So that's pretty much the synopsis of this video. Number one, thank you Dallas for a great A, great game. B. We expose that we 100% need a wide receiver. We have a good wide receiver. I'm not going to come out and say, we have a wide receiver. We're better than Dallas. We have a wide receiver. We have on paper a team that should compete with Dallas. Right now, we don't have a team on paper that should be able to compete with Dallas, but we are. You give us a wide receiver, we're there. Um, three, 
fucking, I cannot wait to hear people saying Philly sucks after that game. You cannot, like, it, they're just going to be fucking retired. So I can't wait to see that and then let all the Eagle fans on my channel just shit talk them and start the madness in the comment section below. But yeah, uh, that does it for me. Uh, thank you guys. Like I said, I'm getting fucking like a thousand subscribers every other day. So that is absolutely dope. So I'm going to reward you. There will be live streams potentially on Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, as well as, you know, your weekly rebuild will be out and the Eagles Connected Franchise Mode, all that good shit. So I hope you have a nice, safe Halloween. And if this game... I'll take this L to the Dallas Cowboys if it provokes front office to go out and get a wide receiver because our wide receivers are fucking awful. Till next time, it's your boy C4 saying peace out.